What's up guys, Young Super Gamer here, and in this video I have an unboxing slash review video for you guys, and we're going to be unboxing a hexacopter, mini hexacopter, and it actually has a camera on it as well, so we're going to go and see if it's worth the $56, and there's also a cheaper version for $45, the link to the $56 version will be in the description, this video is sponsored by the company that sent me this uh, drone, by the company that makes this uh, hexacopter, sorry for calling it a drone, but um, this video is sponsored by them, I just wanted to put that there, but I'm not going to, you know, lie or anything about the product. I'm just going to tell you my honest opinion, my review, show you guys how to fly and things like that. So let's go ahead and just get with opening. I'm going to go ahead and cut the tape off and uh, cut it. So let's go ahead and just open it up. Hopefully it's not uh, cutting anything on the inside. Let's see, is it open? There we go. Let's go ahead and uh, see what we get. This is how you're going to receive it if you do buy it. Again, the link to it will be in the description. So there we go. The sorry for bumping the camera. The Smart H Hexacopter. Um, yeah, the Mini Hexacopter, and it's got a camera on it as well. So and it's a Wi-Fi one. So let's go ahead and open it. Oh, this is the back of it, just so you guys can see. It shows all the features right there. Let me go ahead and get it zoomed in right there. All right. So it says it takes pictures as well. It's got an LED indicator light. And it shows the controller right there, which actually looks like a pretty good controller. But apparently, um, I'm recording with my phone right now, so I'm going to have to borrow a phone from somebody around me and uh, use that. See if it connects to iPhone 4. If not, I can use my grandma's phone, actually. So let's go ahead and get this thing open. So the only thing that I had to cut was this little piece of tape right here. So let's go ahead. There we go. Open it up. I want you guys to, like feel like you're opening it up yourself like if you want to buy this this is the exact experience you'll have opening it and getting it working so is there anything else in the box looks like we got instructions yeah the user manual so we got wire that we need to get it out of so all right so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this thing out of there here's the controller attach your phone right there so i'm gonna go ahead and undo this wire and get it out for you guys all right so i got it out of the uh, wire got it out of the box so this is it i'm guessing that's the antenna right there so yeah you guys can see the camera right there on it and so far it's it's actually like a pretty heavy um not heavy bad but like heavy good you know it's not made of cheap material and you shouldn't be afraid of it like breaking right away if you try to fly or anything so Hopefully it's as uh, durable as it seems at first. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find out how to fly it myself. And I'll let you guys know how to fly it as well. Also, what I just realized, on the bottom of where the drone is, uh, the controller's right there. But right here, you actually have uh, spare propellers. I think that's what it's called. But it's propellers and a mini screwdriver and stuff. So if one of these get damaged, you can replace it. I think you have actually... Eight in there actually it looks like four so four replacement propellers slash blades whatever you want to call it so yeah pretty neat and it's got all the tools you need to replace them so while going over the instructions looking over everything the controller actually takes four AA batteries that are not included so keep that in mind if you plan on buying this drone it does take four AA batteries that you need to buy yourself so batteries are in Screwed down and secure so the controller is ready to go. Let's go ahead and see what we need to do with the drone to get it ready to go. Okay, so the drone seemed to come charge at least a little bit. And if yours doesn't or, you know, when you're done using it and you need to charge it, it comes with the USB charging cable that you can use to charge it. It does not come with, like, the power block thing. So you will need to have your own power block for the USB to plug into or you can just plug in your computer or something. But to turn it on, they have this little on-off switch. So now it's on. I'm going to go and set it down and read the user manual and show you guys how to fly this thing. Okay, guys, so there are three options to fly this thing. There's option one where you just use the controller and no phone and no camera. And then you can use the, con the default controller with your phone as a camera that you can record on, take pictures on, and just see the live video feed. Or three, you can just use your phone as the controller and the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all three ways and how you can do each one. So the very first one I'm gonna do is just the controller and no phone involved. So first you wanna turn the drone on. 
should see the LED lights blinking. And now I'm gonna go ahead and set it down. Okay, so now with the drone on, you wanna turn on the controller, press down, up, you should hear the beeps in between, and then down again, and it should stop beeping as you can see right there. And we're ready to fly. To take off, you just press the auto the auto takeoff button. It should take off. And then you have this to accelerate it. This goes higher, lower, turns it, rotates it left, rotates it right. And then you have these that tilt it in every direction to actually move in that direction. So let's go ahead and uh, get this thing flying. So up. It's gonna bring it closer. So what you want to do is you want to see which direction you're more comfortable with. So now I know up is in the direction of the camera. I'm going to get it back in the shot. So I can keep the camera closest to me to where I can just move it towards me or away from me. So um, the wind isn't that strong today, but this thing really isn't that wind resistance. But you can still see it's flyable. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next thing and get you some live video feed as well. So the next way I'm going to show you how to fly this thing is through a uh, with the controller and your phone as the live video feed. So to do a flip on this thing, let me go ahead and uh, show you guys. I need to tilt my camera up just a little bit because I want to have enough uh, airspace to do it. Okay, so now I think the camera is tilted up enough, so let's go ahead and take off. And to perform a flip, you press. Let me go ahead and get focus that button right there, and then the, the direction you want to flip. So let me go ahead and get it back in the shot again. I'm fighting against wind here. As soon as I see it, all right. So there it is. And hold on, trying to get it to flip. All right, flip it. So there you go. And you can just do endless flips with it, which is pretty cool. And uh, definitely a feature I'm glad this drone has because it definitely looks awesome to do it. So it's going to do one more and then we can get on to the next way you can fly it. Okay guys, so now we're going to be using our phone as just the camera. We're still going to be using the controller that came with it as the controller, but we're going to be using our phone as the cameras so that we can record video take pictures and have live feed video while we're controlling our drone so what you want to do on android or ios go to the app store and look up cx37 and it should look so similar to this and then you just download it so i'm gonna go ahead and download it and show you guys how to use it okay so once the app is installed what you want to do is connect your drone to the controller just like we did last time so you turn it on then what you want to do is turn on your controller and pair it again because you're going to have to pair it every time you turn it off and turn it back on. So there we go down up and down and it should stop blinking and that means it's paired. Once it is paired then you can on your phone click on the CX37 Wi-Fi in your settings and connect to it. It's got its own Wi-Fi and that's its wireless connection system. That's what you need to connect to. Once you connect to it and see the check mark, you open up the app. So let me go ahead and open up the app for you guys and get it to focus. Alright, so now all you gotta do is hit play. There we go. Okay, yeah, so there we go. And since we're not gonna use it as a controller, just hit that on thing. And there we go, we have it connected. So there we go, we got the live feed camera right there, and I'm going to go ahead and record this on my phone as well, and I'll put this clip, I'll put the clip of what the drone records right after so you guys can get an idea of the quality of the drone. There we go, get it to focus, and alright, hit the record button, and you just control it just like before, but now you have a live feed camera on your drone so there you go i'm sitting here recording it as well and let me go ahead and try to get back in the camera shot i'll stand there paying attention to the live feed camera on the 
phone on the controller rather than the actual camera I'm using. So there we go. And that is the second way to control this thing. And I'm going to show you the last way to control this thing, which is by using your phone as the controller. Okay, and if you want to control it with your phone, um, I definitely prefer using the controller. It's a lot easier, but if you do want to use your phone instead, you can just turn off the drone, turn it back on, and then hit back on your phone. Let me go and there we go, and you just got to hit play again, and it should connect to it. And if the controller is not connected and only your phone is, you should be able to use it as a controller. Except I'm not going to just because I really don't like flying it with my phone. But um, everybody's different and some people might prefer flying it with their phone instead. But I definitely prefer using the controller so I'm not even going to try to fly it with the phone. And I know I said earlier whenever I first flew it with the live camera feed I was going to show the video recorded on it but now I'm just going to go ahead and record a whole separate uh, video with the drone itself and I'll put it right now uh, right after this so you guys can see the actual quality of the drone itself so I'm going to do that right now you'll see the quality of the drone and I'm going to review this thing Okay guys, so after watching me unbox it, show you how to fly it, watch me fly it, and after seeing the footage taken from the drone, seeing the quality of the camera, it's time to finally review this thing. And I've flown this thing so many times uh, since I uh, initially unboxed it. I've flown this thing so many times, gotten so used to it. And this thing is amazing, and I would definitely recommend it. If you're looking for a quadcopter uh, slash quadcopter slash hexcopter type thing, this hexcopter is great, and it's only $50, which really isn't bad compared to the product that you get and so I'm just going to go over the pros of getting this you know the good side versus the cons you know the downside of buying this drone so uh, the good thing that I've noticed so far is that it's very durable I've crashed this thing uh, just when I'm just when, uh, starting to learn how to fly it I crashed it quite a bit of times and then ever since I started flying it you know let my little brother fly it as well um, it, I've crashed it a number of times and it still shows no visible wear on it, no scratches, no scrapes, no broken propeller yet, nothing. So it's definitely a very durable drone slash uh, hexcopter. Sorry if I say drone, it's just a habit of saying of calling things like this a drone. Um, I'm pretty much calling anything that flies uh, with more than one propeller a drone. That's pretty much, I'm just going to call it a drone. So uh, forgive me when, I'm, when I call this hexcopter a drone. But yeah, so it's very durable. Uh, the second pro is that um, it is a Wi-Fi drone and it comes with a great controller. So I've seen uh, some drones in this price in the same price range um, not even come with a controller. They require you to use your cell phone to um, control it. And I'm really glad this one came with a very 
a uh, good controller, very lasting, durable controller as well. And it's just a really good quality uh, controller for the hexacopter. So um, yeah, the two upsides so far is that the quadcopter or the hexacopter itself is very durable and has a very good controller that it comes with. Another good thing is that it does come with a camera on it because I know a lot of other uh, flyable things in this price range doesn't even have a camera on it and it's honestly not that bad of a camera either for $55 to come onto the uh, a drone type thing so it's definitely is a decent camera and uh, if you guys want to see some of the quality pictures that I took with it I'll put the link to my Instagram down below and I've uploaded a couple pictures to my Instagram that I've taken off this drone and it's all uh, they're pretty good quality pictures honestly so so far we've got three pros, quality drone, durable drone, and a quality controller, and the camera is not that bad. Another really good plus to this is that, um, is that it comes with six replacement propellers. So, you know, after using this quite a bit already, the, I still not even broke one propeller, and I could break each one of these once and still be able to replace all of them with the amount of propellers it comes with. So even if, um, one of these propellers does break you got you have replacements to you so definitely a good thing another good plus side to this drone so what I recommend this drone slash quadcopter slash hexacopter over other things in its price range yes this is a very quality hexacopter and if you want to buy it yourself the link to it will be down in the description it'll take you to Amazon where you can purchase it and I got mine in two days after buying it which is another huge plus after getting it it got here in two days so two days definitely a fast shipping time um, so yeah I definitely recommend this hexacopter so now let's go ahead and talk about the reasons that it's not that great the cons let's go ahead and talk about the bad side to it so the downside that I've noticed so far is that um, I already said how durable it is but I'd still would have rather had you know maybe rubber tips on the bottom or cloth tips something that when it falls it doesn't like make a noise that sounds like it breaks that's something that I definitely uh, hate because like every time it falls onto a hard surface I cringe because of you know the hard plastic bottoms on the hexacopter so I would have definitely recommended having maybe rubber tips or something that's more shock resistance when falling so uh, that's one of the only cons the other con is that when recording you you have to record it to your phone but that's not really a big deal except that on my phone don't know how many other phones have the similar issue but when recording it, I can't play it on my phone. Like I can't watch any videos that I take or I can't see any pictures that I take. Or I can't see pictures. I haven't even tried taking pictures yet. All the pictures I have took, I just like took a screenshot of the video. But whenever I record a video, it says that it's not compatible or that the video file is corrupted. So I have to upload it to YouTube before being able to watch it. But the video files are really, really small. So um, even though you do have to upload to YouTube to watch it. It's only like a minute upload to YouTube and then you get to watch what you recorded. So that is a con, not being able to see it on your drone before uploading it to YouTube or not being able to see it on your device before uploading it to YouTube, but still not that big of a downside. I'm sure there's fixes to it. I just haven't really explored because it's not that big of a deal. So overall, um, if you do buy this drone, keep in mind that you do need a nice space outside to fly it. I can fly inside now that I've gotten used to it, but getting used to flying it, you definitely need a nice open area outside. And uh, I found that out shortly after unboxing it, that you do need an open area outside to learn how to fly it and get used to flying it. So hopefully I covered everything that you wanted to know about. Hopefully I covered everything that you needed to know about. Um, one more thing is that you do need a power block to connect the charger into. And you know, pretty much everybody has, you know, a power block to put it into. So um, that's not really a big of a deal either. But if you guys have any more questions I have not answered in this video, comment down below. And if you guys want to see more drone footage I take off this, go down in the comment section and let me know that you want to see more drone footage that I take off this drone. So yeah, pretty much hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you have not done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Any additional questions you have, just drop them down in the comment section below and I'll answer every question you ask.